I hope I hope not. I'm enjoying I'm enjoying this retirement. But uh, yeah, there's no doubt about it. it dominates your life and uh, the, the type of work that you're involved in. If you're running your own business, you're not going to be a football manager. Um, and yeah, I suppose lots of people suggest to me a teaching job is probably the ideal. But like, I mean, Tomas, Tomas was, uh, O'Shea that is, was, was certainly, uh, um, having chatted to him, he was going to uh, take on the awfully senior football role. No question about that. But he applied and was successful becoming a principal of his uh, school, which I think is a 24 teacher school in Formoy. And the minute that landed on, on his plate, he said, there's absolutely no way he'd be able to manage both because that job was going to take a certain amount of, a huge amount of his time. So you, you certainly need a, a job uh, that facilitates that. Like, I mean, just to put it into context, I would leave Casabar at a quarter past, uh, 20 past four, and it ch choose a Thursday or choose a Friday. And uh, it was maybe mid midnight, quarter past 12 when I would get home. That you know, bed up again, work the following morning, what have you. Uh, it's a tough. That's a tough gig. Um, and then add in you know, video analysis, reviewing games, reviewing opposition, team calls with your staff, medical staff, strength and conditioning. It just dominates your life. Like I mean, I can only think back to my time when I got involved as a young fella with Clear in 1990. I mean, there was. You know, I'm looking at some of my diaries that are out in the garage there. I pulled one of them up there during the summer. I was looking at uh, the schedule and everything was kind of ha handwritten. There was no laptop. There was no strength and conditioning. There was no, none of the kind of uh, uh, facilities we have now as resources. But it's nearly gone too far, I feel like. I mean, the game hasn't changed. Mm. But, I mean, the backroom teams are so large now. I mean, they're huge. I'm just even looking at Kevin's and more to be added, apparently. Your strength and conditioning, two, two, uh, two medical doctors, physios. All that that needs management, and that means, uh, um, and that's where Kevin will realize that keeping that aspect of man team management, keeping that happy, because you all have opinions, and trying to synchronize that into a cohesive approach is so important. And there's any mixed messages being delivered at team meetings, where one coach has a particular opinion or a style. And he's delivering a message and might be different from a guy that talks the final week. So it's important to try and keep that cohesiveness together and make sure that the mi there's not mixed messages. That in itself is a huge job before yeah. you start even managing the players themselves. So as I say, the big, the big uh, uh, seismic shift I've seen the last number of years, particularly when I got involved with Offaly, is the amount of off-field work managing other issues outside of the players themselves. That's become... That's become very, very big. And the other thing, and I, you mentioned it there about clubs. I mean, to finance uh, th this entire package, it's absolutely huge. Like, I mean, the GPA and Fair Play, they have introduced a lot of professionalism into the uh, how players are looked after by way of meals, additional food supplements, nutritional supplements, all of that. It all costs money. And you take a dual county like Offaly, I mean, they are stretched, and I think that even even if uh, Shane had won the FedEx, unfortunately, he didn't get into it. <laughs> it's not enough. It's not enough. You need you need a couple of philanthropists around the, the world, uh, and uh, they're not there. Um, but uh, certainly, it's becoming uh, financially ex excessive, and uh, that's an issue. I think that um, lots of countries are scratching their heads: how will we sustain this? When you consider that Mayo County Board. Are paying about over thirty thousand euro every single month on their debt on the Kale, the Kale Park. What they what they're managing to do, and to fund and finance with teams uh, at all levels, twenties, minors, etc. It's quite remarkable. I mean, they deserve great credit. I don't know how it's done. I have no idea, but it's a it's a fair achievement.